Welcome back everybody, I hope you're having a beautiful day And I also hope you're ready to get infuriated Because we're on the Choosing Beggars subreddit It's early in the morning and I'm starting my day with this Which probably isn't a good idea So yeah, thank you for joining me guys I need you here for moral support today And with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful time a Nintendo bundle for $160? No, I can't take a hundred, but thank you for the offer. It's okay, I'm a single mom. Coolio! That's why I offered that. What does that have to do with my Nintendo? Money is super tight for me. Yeah, okay, me too. Why do you think I'm selling my Nintendo? <laughs> yeah, that's a really good point. Why do you think I'm selling this? But no, no, it's okay. I'm a single mom, so that means I get things cheaper, I suppose. Giving my cousin's son my PlayStation 4 Pro and game. Games, but my cousin also wants $160 worth of games. Hi, someone so told me that you're giving him your old PlayStation. I just wanted to thank you. He's so excited to get it. Hey, no biggie. I finally got a PlayStation 5, so I was looking for someone who'd like to take my old PlayStation 4 Pro. I saw him at Graham's on Easter and he perked up when I mentioned it. He 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 is very happy about it. It's his birthday in two weeks. That makes it extra special. By the way, since you're already giving him the PlayStation, you're also giving him the game with it, right? I just don't know if I can afford to buy him new games. Yeah, I'm giving him the games with it. Almost 20 games, I think. Most of them are digital so I can't give those to him, but he'll get my physical copies. There's Spider-Man, Horizon Zero Dawn, Uncharted 4, and the Trilogy Collection. God of War, The Witcher 3, and a bunch of other games. Oh, that's great! He mentioned that he also wants to play God of War Ragnarok on the new Horizon game. Any chance you can get those for him as well? Think of it as your birthday gift to him. Oh my my god, <laughs> get out of here, what are you talking about? So unbelievably ungrateful, like oh yeah, you're giving us a PlayStation 4 and also all of your games, but could you please buy them another game that's like $80 or something probably? How are people like this? Um, I think the console plus the games are enough for a birthday gift. Maybe you can find a discounted or even used copy from EB Games or GameStop or Best Buy. Besides, maybe he should play the first games like Horizon Zero Dawn and God of War, which I'm already giving him before he starts playing the new ones. Just a thought. I see. Okay. What do you mean you see? <laughs> oh, this is so infuriating. Starting the day on this subreddit was a terrible idea. <laughs> Dog boarding. 16 nights of boarding for April 16th to May 2nd from 6pm to 8pm and 8am to 9am. $1,250 total. I'm going out of town for business so I need you to watch my puppy for two weeks. He's six months old and he's friendly and he's not neutered yet so sometimes has accidents indoors when he's excited. He also has a bad habit of chewing. My flight leaves at 6am so he'll need to be picked up before then. How much? Hello there, I will be available and I'd love to care for your dog. My hours are currently 7.30am to 8.30pm. However, I could pick up the night before your flight and drop off the morning after you arrive. If that interests you, the total will come out to 12.50 for two weeks including transportation. Please review my profile and let me know if you have any other questions. Oh, that's pretty expensive. Do you have any extended stay discounts since it'll be for two weeks? My dog is fully trained except for his accidents. Can you remove the puppy rates too? I do offer extended rates, but only for adults. The puppy rate is applied to any under the age of one, regardless of their level of training. Considering that your dog is not fully house trained and he has destructive tendencies, the puppy rate would still apply for his stay. Okay, well I usually pay $45 a night so I'll contact other sitters and I'll get back to ya. Yeah, no problem. I won't be able to offer my services for any less than the listed prices on my profile. But you are welcome to reach out again if you'd like to move forward. Good luck with your search. The other sitters that were contacted either aren't available or they don't have the experience that meet my standards. Since I will be a first-time client, can you offer me a one-time discount? I see that you're also a trainer. I need you to work on his training while I'm away as well. Are you able to come and meet him tonight before we continue? Oh my god, the demand of this person. I would be happy to provide a $20 off discount if you're new to Rover. I do offer puppy training services for an additional $65 a night, which covers one hour of training. If you would like 14 days of training, that would be an additional $910 to the boarding fee. I will have some time on Saturday after 2pm if you'd like to come over for a meet and greet with your dog. How about this? I can pay you the $12.50 for two weeks if you include training as well. Think about it and get back to me. No, I'm sorry, the total with 
the training will be 2160 Oh, that's insane. I'm not paying that. Yeah, no worries. I think it would be best if you search for another sitter. Take care. No, I still need you to watch him, so I'll pay for the boarding. It better be worth the price. My rates are based on my experience and the services that I provide. My reviews speak for themselves. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to decline your request. Once again, good luck with your search with finding another sitter. I can't find another sitter I feel I can trust, so now I have to cancel my trip. Thanks a lot. I'll leave a review for this inconvenience. Wow, are you joking? How is any of this their fault? How is this not just your fault? <laughs> oh, that's so unfair. Like, you didn't want to pay their price, so they can't do it for you, you know? That's not their fault. That's how it works. Somebody wants pet sitting for emergencies, but isn't willing to pay a decent amount for 18 animals? Hi, it's so-and-so. I was wondering what you would charge each time you came over. It would only take about 45 minutes to an hour max. Good morning. Typically for that, about $25. No, I can't pay that. Sorry. That doesn't even sound expensive, does it? Oh no, I'm sorry. I don't really have any wiggle room on that because of gas and time. Well, does your other job reimburse you in gas? Probably not. I don't feel I should either. Meet and greet is off. That's such a reasonable price. They need to drive out there and they're taking their time to do this. I'm sorry it won't work out. I hope you're able to find someone. Well, it would have if you wouldn't expect people to reimburse you in gas. Oh my God, what's with the attitude? <laughs> they're not doing anything wrong. They're literally providing you a service. You're asking for a job. Typically, jobs don't reimburse you on gas. I've had people come do it for $15 each time. Ma'am, this is a side job that I have. I live 30 minutes away. That's an hour round trip plus the 45 minutes to an hour to care for 18 animals. $25 is very fair for someone experienced and responsible to take care of your babies. Yeah, and if anything, that's not enough money. <laughs> and that's the end of the conversation. Wow, that's unbelievable. That does seem like a pretty fair price, doesn't it? The audacity. Family can be the worst choosing beggars. Hey, are you growing tomato plants this year? If you have any extras, I'd give them a great home. We loved them last year. I am. You're welcome to some extra plants if they turn out okay. Keep in mind that I'm still pretty new at growing them from seed. I might have some extra sun gold cherry, super sweet 100 cherry, early girl medium and a brandy wine large. Do you have any black cherry ones like last year? Our kid really liked those. I only have two black cherry plants from seeds and my neighbor gave me them. If they both survive to be transplanted, I'm excited to have them in my garden. If we do have a really good crop, I'm happy to send a bunch your way though. Would you be interested in the ones that I am growing? I can reserve some for you if they survive. I should be able to let you know by mid-May. Oh, can you get some more black cherry seeds and start growing them now? Not really, sorry. It's a little late to start from seed and I don't have any more growing space inside right now, but I'll reserve one of each of the other varieties I'm growing for you. Sound good? Don't bother. It's really sad that you can't do something small for family like this. Are you joking? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, sorry. Maybe next year. Can I have your black cherry plants instead? No. Oh, the nerve of some people. I don't know how to explain it, but reading this sort of stuff is nearly physically painful. Does anybody have a car that they can part with? It must be at least a 2015 with air conditioning. Because just the car fan isn't going to cut it. And also new tires. I know I didn't state a color, but I don't like red cars. I'm a single parent. Let me know. And it would be nice if it had tinted windows. No rude comments, please. Wow, even they know how unreasonable they're being. Like, yeah, I know I'm being super unreasonable, but don't leave any mean comments. And also, what's the bet that if you gave them everything they were asking for, they still wouldn't be happy? Like, no, these tires aren't new enough. And, oh, Oh no, the windows aren't tinted enough also. My Uber driver just stopped to give a beggar some change. I was going to compliment him. Very kind. The beggar yelled, 75 cents? I don't want this. And threw it back at the car. I just experienced the literal beggars can't be choosers and it makes me sad. 35 looking for a beautiful petite woman to take on a dinner date and see where the night takes us. I am a 5 foot 9 well groomed fit Asian American with a successful career and a great sense of humour. I am married and I'm not trying to change my situation at home so I'm only interested in an NSA FWB situation for the next two or three months or a one night stand. Ew, what? Ugh, I already hate this. I travel into Charlotte frequently for work and I'm looking for someone to take out to fancy dinners and drinks if we hit it off and then take things back to my hotel room. I normally stay at nice hotels in Uptown. Interested in a one night 
stand or no strings attached to friends with benefits situation, my ideal dinner date, not all requirements but preferences, must be disease free, that one's required, petite 5 foot 5 or shorter and fit, dresses sexy but not trashy, Asian or white, younger so 18 to 35, preferably also married, makes things simpler but not a deal breaker, discreet, can hold an engaging conversation, a good sense of humour, inexperienced or hasn't had many sexual partners, I'm average size so I'm not interested in size queens, likes being submissive, likes giving the oral diddly, has a high sex drive, loves to pleasure her man, lady in the streets but a freak in the sheets. If you are interested, DM me telling me a bit about yourself. Pictures are a plus but I understand you may not be too comfortable sending a picture in the first message. Looking forward to meeting a confident sexy woman. Yeah, that was gross. I would like to buy your 32 TM2 snowboard boots 10.5 for $100. No, 175 is the lowest that I'll go. Okay, they're for my son who's still growing so a thousand is my max. Oh sorry, a hundred. No, 175 is the lowest I'll go. Okay, they're for my son who's still growing so a hundred is my max. Oh okay, $200 is the lowest I'll go. Oh fine, I'll do 400. <laughs> That's such a good way of dealing with choosing beggars. Like, oh I suppose if I have to I could raise the price. <laughs> Kids, children these days. Does anybody know how to raise a child without phones and internet? We had a kid and we paid him 10 bucket to rack the yard. He no more know how to do a go job than a man in the moon. <laughs> what a beautiful sentence. My mum is 85. He said pay me and I'll help. Whatever happened to kids helping older persons? The world is going to heck. Okay. <laughs> are they talking about raking leaves? So what are they trying to say? I'm usually pretty good at figuring out what people are trying to say, but this one's really hard. Oh, okay. The title says man pays kid less than minimum wage for yard work and is appalled that the kid didn't offer to do it for free? How can you be that upset when you're going from $10 to no dollars? It's not like they were paying them a huge amount of money or something. An iPhone XR for $250. Yes, it is available. Anything wrong with it? There's scratches on the back and it needs some cleaning, but other than that, no. Will it work for AT&T? Yeah, it's unlocked. I'm sorry, I can't afford that. I only have $100. Well, it's $250. Can you go any lower? The lowest I could go is maybe 200. Are you able to bring it to me? No. <laughs> How about this? I don't pay for it and you also bring it to me? That would be amazing. $15 each metal folding chairs. How many do you have? You can read the description. I know it's a big ask, but would you deliver if I took all of them at $10 each? You want me to deliver and you want to pay less? Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't sound like a very good deal. Yeah, and I think that's a really good place to read something wholesome, guys. Definitely read enough choosing beggars for one day. Shout out to my boy Steve who stood in front of a green screen for years running in place and talking to invisible objects and animals so kids like me could have entertaining and educational TV. Yeah, shout out to Steve, the absolute legend. I feel like this show is so many of our childhoods. Hey man, sorry to wake you. Do you think you could play some music for me? I, I think so. My 10 year old laptop. Oh, that's so beautiful. I know that was hard for you and I know you're full of viruses, but thank you for operating Spotify. I really appreciate it. Even if it did take like 30 minutes to turn on. I fell asleep on the couch and I woke up with this cat on my lap. I have three cats, but this isn't one of them. No way. Hello, new cat. I'm probably not going to be allowed to keep you, but I wish I could. I met a woman in a bathroom line last night who told me she was a writer and I said that I was one too. And she was like, oh, we're that Spider-Man meme. And then we both immediately instinctively pointed fingers at each other and I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, so I know we just met, but can you please be a lifelong friend of mine? And once again, thank you for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time, guys, and I hope you didn't get too angry today. That was pretty infuriating, but I feel like it wasn't worse than, you know, other Choosing Beggars videos. We've definitely had better and we've definitely had worse. I feel like this one was somewhere in the middle on the infuriating scale. But if you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. And the comment of the day goes to Smaller on the Outside 11. Hello from Wales. I love your videos so much that I stockpiled them for a couple of weeks. Very hard to not watch my daily Vinci videos for that long, so I can have them playing while I crochet a jumper. Thank you so much for all of your terrifying yet hilarious content. Wow, so you're in Wales and you're watching my videos? That's incredible. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support so much, and I hope the jumper turns out good. That's such an 
awesome thing to be doing. And yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Make sure you have a beautiful, amazing rest of your day. And you know what I'm about to say because I say it every single day. Bye! <laughs>